We want to bring in Sabrina Singh. She is the Deputy Press Secretary for the Department of Defense. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, these Houthi rebels, they've been attacking ships in the Red Sea for months now. Why did the U.S. decide to launch a retaliatory or retaliation strikes now, and were the objectives achieved? Well, thanks, Anne-Marie, so much for having me. As you mentioned, uh, we have seen attacks from, from the Houthis in, in Yemen, in, in areas that they control in Yemen. Um, we've seen over 20 attacks on not only U.S. and commercial vessels, um, but other ships transiting the Red Sea, obviously a critical waterway. So why we did it at the time that we did? Well, we always reserve the right to, at the time and place of our choosing, to pick when we will make the most effective um, and, and be able to, to meet the, the target that we set out at, at the the right time. And so that's what you saw last night. You saw us taking action when we felt that we would be able to destroy and disseminate some of their capabilities that they've been using against U.S. forces and against ships transiting the Red Sea. That's why we targeted their radar and air defense systems, their storage facilities for their UAVs and cruise and ballistic missiles. And as you mentioned, I believe uh, the, the reporter in the package earlier mentioned, we won't hesitate to take further action if we need to. Mm -hmm. The Houthi rebels had said, I, I believe that they were targeting you know, Israeli connected ships, but clearly that's not the case. Uh, you know, the targets have been international. How important is it that this was an international effort? Well, that's exactly right. It was incredibly important. As you know, we have a defensive coalition that's set up in the Red Sea, with, which is uh, being run by the United States military under Operation Prosperity Guardian. That is in defensive in nature. We are helping ships that are transiting there and the El Bab Mandev uh, to make sure that they get through safely and securely. Uh, but last night, what you saw is, is a multi-coalition effort um, with the UK and support from other four other countries um, to take action against the Houthis and to really degrade and decimate the capabilities that they are using to target ships that are lawfully transiting the international waters. So it was incredibly important that we had a multi-coalition uh, support in this effort. And we continue to see that coalition growing, not just with Operation Prosperity Guardian, but, but as of yesterday as well. Um, given Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's current health status, we know he's in the hospital, how involved was he in this process? Well, I can tell you that he was incredibly involved. As you know, he resumed his full authorities and duties uh, late on last week. And so he was he was heavily engaged. Uh, just earlier this week on Tuesday, we saw the largest barrage of Houthi action in the Red Sea. The secretary was on gate, engaged in that, monitoring in real time, in touch with the central command commander, as well as with the White House. And over the past 48, 72 hours, he's engaged not only the National Security Council, but the president directly. And so yesterday, I can assure you, not only was he watching uh, the activity and the strikes that the U.S. military and our coalition partners took, uh, but he was also receiving real time uh, uh, updates from the central command commander as well. As you know, the secretary of state uh, it has been, I'm not sure he's already left the region, but he certainly wasn't in the region uh, recently. And one of the things on his agenda was to ensure that the conflict between Hamas and Israel does not erupt into a wider regional war. Since uh, October 7th, we've seen a, the number of American troops in the region increasing, um, but the posture has been defensive. Is this what we saw, the attack on Houthi targets, is this uh, an indication of a shift in U.S. strategy? Look, I wouldn't say that it's a shift necessarily. We always reserve the right to defend ourselves, to protect our forces. And part of uh, what, we, what you saw last night was a coalition effort of like-minded countries joining together to ensure that free and open uh, flow of commerce can continue through the Red Sea. That's something that uh, means we're upholding the international rules-based order. That's something that uh, countries, most countries all around the world support. Um, of course, we're seeing the Houthis challenge that. We're seeing the Houthis continue to target uh, commercial vessels. And so I wouldn't say, again, this was an escalation. Um, the Houthis are targeting ships that have no connection to Israel in any way, ships that, I mean, truly have nationalities from 50 or so countries from all around the world. And so last night you, you saw the United States and our partners take action to stop them. All right, Sabrina Singh, thank you so much. Thank you.